Dr. Boom's favorite card is Millhouse Mana Storm. He always knew the card was bad, but he was very curious to see how people would react to it now. He asked me to do something called the Millhouse Mana Storm Experiment, an idea to see how well people can use Millhouse Mana Storm in current Hearthstone. Some of you might know Millhouse Mana Storm. It's almost like this card was purposely made just to be bad. Now, there was moments where this card was actually good. You could cheat this card out or you just randomly summon it. Let's see how great of a turn my opponent can do with Millhouse Mana Storm. What magic can my opponent do with a card like this? To fully understand how powerful this card can be for my opponents, I went back and I watched a couple highlights on this card. Prepare to face the mighty Millhouse Mana Storm. Why am I asleep? We have to first ask ourselves, what game modes is Millhouse actually available in? He's in Battlegrounds. We're not going to play Battlegrounds. He's in Mercenaries as well, but we're not going to play Mercenaries. Is he in Duels? He is. And he's in Wild. He's not in Standard, I don't believe. I believe they took him out, right? So we're going to build a deck for each one of these. Since Millhouse came out in Classic, that's where I decided to start the experiment. Let's see what people can come up with in Classic. He's got no cards in hand. All right, well, maybe he could pop off. All right, have fun. Damn it. I want Millhouse so bad. <gasps> let's go. All right. All right. Rogue, have fun. All right. Let's see what they can do. No way. You just dagger pass, bro. Okay. Thank God. All right. Hell yeah. That was it. That's all you could do. That's really it. Wow. You are just the worst rogue on the planet. Good luck. Show me what your Millhouse could do. He's looking at his hand. He's like, why are my spells cost zero mana? He's reading the card. He's like, what the hell? All right. We're getting swiped. Please have a pop off turn for once in your life. Don't just play swipe and pass. How? do you only have swipe in your hand where's your nourish where's your freaking anything dude i was honestly surprised by the lack of pop-off turns from my opponents but eventually we got one that was absolutely insane basically a full hand this is your moment go for it oh my god you going okay yes it's a pretty good turn <laughs> Keep it going. This is beautiful. Bro, he actually like drew his full deck. Oh my God. That was the best turn I could have asked for. Dude. Excellent. Excellent. Shout out to this paladin. It's one off lethal. So I'm just going to send it and just hope for the best. He couldn't handle the might of Millhouse Mana Storm. Good luck. Also play this in case you want another card. Oh my God. What is this deck? As you can see, Millhouse Mana Storm could be abused and Dr. Boom was getting really excited at the progress of this experiment. Things were going well. Oh God. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent game. He's coining. Coin totem. I'm just going to go for it. Whatever. What can you do with this mill house? Wow, I just got high rolled. Oh, he actually had a lot. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. He actually had a lot. Okay. That's actually not that bad. All right. Oh my God. Let's go. Oh my God. What the actual hell? This is incredible. Wait, he's still going. I th he actually decked himself in one turn. It's still going. Oh my God. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, so as you guys can tell, that's why Milhouse doesn't get played. After showing Dr. Boom the classic footage, he was super excited. He couldn't believe how powerful Milhouse Mana Storm made his opponent. So we then move on to Wild to see what our opponents can do with the card. Play this and we're chilling. And here we go. What can you do with Milhouse? Guys looking at the card, he's like, what is that card I've never seen in my life before? Which is fun. Wait, that was absolutely depressing. You have three spells and you could only cast a singular blizzard, which you could have done anyways with the coin. So the question is, should I wait? If I wait a little bit, like if they ping, it's a little spicier for me. I'm just gonna play it. What's your play? Dude, every time this card has been played so far, everyone just reads it like, huh? Wait, is this just spell mage? No, don't tell me that's the end of your turn. Dude, you have infinite spells. What are you doing? Have fun. Amazing. Thank you. I know he looks pretty sick in his robes. Oh, wait, this is <laughs> this is what we're with. This is what we needed, dude. This guy's probably having so much fun. That was pretty good. They're probably so confused. One of the best things about the wild format, you could consistently draw mill house in your early turn. Well, that was disappointing to say the least. I'm going to hope he picked rig fair game. Okay, he didn't pick rig fair game. 
All right, do it again. What I'm learning from doing this, by the way, a lot of people just forgot this card actually existed. Oh, perfect, perfect. This is it. It's almost like they this card doesn't exist for like 90% of people because the card was just so bad. So it's very interesting to see how people react to this. Wow. That's it? That's so wild to me. You would think that they would have a huge pop off turn. I guess it also depends on how people mulligan, right? I explained the findings to Dr. Boom and he was also very surprised. He wanted me to keep trying just in case we missed something entirely. Against the priest. Okay, could they handle a two mana four four or will they just die? I think they're confused. Looking at their hand, they're seeing the amount of mana they have now. They're excited. Don't tell me that's it. Back in my day, if you played Millhouse Mana Storm, you lost. Like, it's really weird because you would think with the, the power level of spells now, it would only be stronger. You could utilize this so much more effectively, but it's almost like people don't. It's crazy. It's not how I expected this to go at all. All right, let's see how well this does. They have, what, six cards in their hand. It's a warrior. I'm not super optimistic on warrior, but maybe they can pull something insane. We've seen some pop off turns like that mage had a pretty good turn, but I thought like for sure with the cards that were in the game currently in wilds with the power level of decks that this card would just let people do insane stuff. I wonder if duels would be better. He might, he might just pass. He might just heal. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely phenomenal. OK, here we go. Here we go. I'm so excited. What, should I kill this? No, I'll leave it alive. 90% of the cards in your hand have to be spells based on this archetype. So please just go off. I'm really sad. You, why didn't you just play that last turn? You could have just, dude, you had the, you, you make me look like an absolute idiot. I'm starting to get a new hypothesis here. People see Millhouse and they think to themselves, what is this card? Is this a real Hearthstone card? Their brain therefore just goes and they just forget how to play the game. All right, it's another priest. Okay, we have Millhouse on one. There is no way it backfires, right? <laughs> They're reading the card again. How do you have nothing? Like, what is your hand? There's no way he didn't have any spells in his hand. In my mind, when I was envisioning this video, I was like, holy crap, we're going to see them actually popping off in wild. There's so many cool cards in wild. People don't know what to do. It's crazy. They think it's a trap. Maybe it is a psychological thing. Maybe people are like, oh my God, what if he's actually baiting me to play spells? This is very interesting. I mean, their hand must be all spells at this point, right? Enjoy yourself. Surely with nine cards in hand, you can do something spectacular. All right, he's either AFK, his mind exploded, or he's calculating how what he could do with this turn maybe he's wiping his ass too because he's playing on the, the shitter but so i guess there's four options realistically excellent great use of mana perfect don't you end your turn don't you god what is your what are you doing there's just no way after explaining my findings to dr boom he was also pretty complex about the whole situation but he had one more great idea what about duels a game mode where a bunch of crazy stuff happens that you don't see anywhere else in hearthstone do something insane show me what is possible in the duels it's exciting uh, that was one mana though so Okay, it's exciting. Smile. That's it? Dude, It's do these people even play games? Like, All right, what do you got? Show me what you got. I swear to God, if you just play like a one single minion here, I'm going to cry. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm expecting death. And then that's what I got. I had no hesitation. With a card like this in duels, power of the horde, we can do, I think we can do better. Okay. Why do I feel like this could have been better? Aha, uh -huh. that was it. What did we learn from doing this? People don't expect Milhus at all anymore. Milhus is still bad. It can backfire a lot. But other than that, like I expected something different. Most of my opponents saw the Milhouse and went, what is that? And for those who are wondering what happened to Dr. Boom, well, he <laughs> kind of went insane.